hello everybody welcome to another new video in this video we will study about the designing of a pipe outlet okay so uh, here we will study about the designing of pipe outlet and how can we design a pipe outlet okay uh, for this uh, we have a question you can see here this question is asked in Pokhara University in 2021 fall okay and uh, in this video we are going to solve uh, this numerical uh, so let's see uh, what is what's the question uh, you can see here the question is asked to design a pipe outlet for the following data uh, we have uh, given some data over here uh, for the designing of pipe outlet full supply uh, discharge at head of water course uh, equal to 90 lps and fsl that is full supply level in uh, distribution canal is given uh, 205 meter and uh, full supply level in water course is uh, given over here 204 meter okay so uh, basically this is the question and uh, now we have to design the canal uh, pipe outlet with the help of uh, this given data okay so how can we uh, design okay so uh, let's see the solution uh, before starting the solution please uh, do subscribe the channel and uh, like the video okay and uh, if you are new to the channel uh, please press to the, press the bell icon so you will get uh, regular updates okay and I have I have uploaded uh, different uh, video related to our civil engineering as as well as uh, this irrigation uh, engineering okay so I strongly recommend you please visit uh, to the channel and you can uh, see a uh, different video related to our irrigation engineering too okay so uh, i will keep uh, different video link in description box uh, you can see from there okay so uh, let's see the solution uh, first we have to uh, know about the some concept about the uh, design of pipe outlet so i will first uh, show you some uh, basic concept before designing the pipe outlet so uh, first we have to uh, know about the head available head first uh, first thing we have to know about the uh, available head available head across the outlet so basically uh, the available head equal to uh, this is the full supply level full supply level of distribution channel uh, minus full supply level of water course okay so first thing we have to calculate the available head across the outlet for this uh, we can simply uh, it can be calculated by the uh, dividing uh, full supply level of distribution canal uh, to the full supply level of water course okay so basically uh, let's take uh, some example if the full supply uh, level of distribution course is given 205 and if the full supply level of water course is given 204 then simply the available uh, head across the outlet that is uh, we can simply denote it by hl available here is denoted by hl so the value of hl becomes uh, one meter okay so in this way we can calculate the available head across the outlet simply okay i hope uh, you guys are understand uh, and uh, after the calculating the available head we have to use the formula for the this okay that is the formula for the uh, discharge discharge equal to you can see here okay so uh, q equal to cda root on dot or 2 dhl uh, here you can see this is the q equal to discharge discharge means uh, you can see here q equal to full supply discharge at head of uh, water course full supply uh, discharge head of head of water course okay 
during the numerical uh, solution uh, we have already given uh, the value of q that is a discharge of full supply uh, discharge and simply you can say this is uh, fsq okay uh, fsq means simply uh, full supply uh, fs uh, full supply discharge at the head of water course and uh, the formula of uh, q equal to cda root under uh, 2gh now let's see a different parameter related to this formula and uh, this formula uh, will be used for the designing of outlet this is our main formula but with the help of this formula uh, we have to design the canal outlet simply uh, whenever uh, in the question say about the designing of canal outlet simply it means we have to design a diameter of pipe okay and you can see here uh, in this question already told design a pipe outlet simply it means you have to design the uh, diameter of pipe okay uh, you can say like that and uh, for this uh, we use the formula that is q equal to cda root under 2 dhl okay so now let's see what is cda and uh, hl i already told you about uh, q q is a full supply discharge at a head of water course okay now let's see what is cd so you can see here cd is nothing it is just a constant constant and it can uh, be said as the uh, edge coefficient of discharge cd is simply coefficient of discharge we have already a study about this parameter okay uh, that cd is a coefficient of discharge in hydrology and water supply as well okay so cd is coefficient of discharge and the value of uh, this constant is taken as uh, two different value okay the and first one is 0 0.73 and second one is 0 0.62 and when we use uh, 0 0.73 and uh, 0 0.62 so we have for uh, these two conditions okay generally the value of cd uh, is taken to be uh, 0 0.60 for the general condition and uh, whenever the condition is uh, submerged flow then uh, we have to take the value of cd equal to 0 0.73 for what for the submerged flow okay uh, hope uh, you understand the value of cd uh, we have to take 0 0.60 for the general condition but uh, we have to take value of cd equal to 0 0.63 for the submerged flow okay so this is all about the cd now we have to uh, see this is a what is a a means simply area okay area a means area of pipe area 5 so area 5 is um, as we know uh, pipe is in a circular so we have uh, to apply this formula area equal to pi d square by 4 as we know and uh, we have to determine the value of d okay d means simply diameter of pipe diameter of pipe okay so we have to determine the value of d and the value of d ranges uh, generally 25 centimeter to 30 centimeter okay uh, the pipe lead, the pipe size of pipe we provide generally diameter of pipe is 25 to 30 cm okay now uh, this is all about the this formula and uh, i have already told you that hl equal to uh, head difference okay uh, i have uh, you can see here hl equal to available head across the outlet is denoted by simply hl okay so uh, q is equal to uh, full supply discharge cd equal to uh, coefficient of discharge and a equal, a equal to area and root under 2g d g is just simply 9.81 and sgl sgl is the available head across the outlet okay so now uh, after knowing this formula and let's see the solution of uh, that numerical okay so we have this numerical uh, this numerical is already asked in pokhara university you can see here uh, in 2021 so we have given our uh, here full supply discharge at head of water course is given uh, 90 lps means uh, liter per second so we have given uh, 90 liter per second discharge and full supply in distribution canal uh, that is given uh, 205 meters and full supply level in water course is given over here 20 uh, 204 meter okay so this is the given data now we have to design pipe outlet with the help of this data so first thing i as i told 
uh, we have to calculate uh, the available head across the outlet as i told you okay for this uh, we have to uh, subtract the uh, fsl of distribution channel uh, minus fsl of water course okay so simply we use this formula so for available head across the outlet uh, we use fsl of distribution channel minus fsl of water course so we have given our the value of fsl uh, distribution channel equal to 205 meter minus fsl of water course equal to uh, 204 meter so the available head becomes uh, 1 meter okay uh, now as i told you uh, we will use for the uh, discharge uh, through outlet that is the value of uh, q equal to cda root under 2 gs okay so if you have not uh, know about this formula uh, you must remember this formula okay and uh, whenever we design pipe outlet uh, we require this formula so uh, you just remember this formula and that is q equal to cda root under 2 g h naught you can say this is h naught or hl okay so uh, now so okay uh, available head equal to uh, 1 meter now we have uh, cd equal to 0 0.62 for free pipe outlet if we consider this is free uh, pipe outlet we have to use value of cd equal to 0 0.62 okay i can show you here uh, cd equal to 0 0.62 for general condition because in this question uh, there is nothing said uh, okay so that's why we use the value of cd equal to 0 0.62 and uh, you have to know one another thing that uh, whenever we take the value of cd generally we take 0 0.62 okay uh, but uh, when the condition the, the flow is submerged flow submerged flow means simply you can say uh, that when the value of available head in this question the our value of available head equal to 1 meter and whenever the value of head uh, becomes in the terms of 0 0.01 like that okay 0 0.01 0 0.02 uh, in the terms of 0 0.0 okay then we have to use the value of cd equal to 0 0.73 okay it means when the value of uh, uh, head is very small head is very small uh, then we have to use the value of cd equal to uh, 0 0.73 simply okay uh, and uh, you must know what is very small means simply the uh, the value of uh, this available head in the terms of 0 0.00 0 0.0 something okay uh, but here in this uh, question available head across the outlet is equal to 1 meter okay which is uh, very greater than 0 0.001 so that's why we uh, we take the value of cd equal to uh, 0 0.62 for free uh, pipe outlet okay and uh, when the available head equal to in the terms of 0 0.01 then we have to take the value of cd equal to 0 0.73 for the submerged flow okay now uh, so um, in this question cd equal to 0 0.62 we have taken and discharge equal to 90 lps lps means simply liter per second okay you can say uh, here i have already written q equal to 90 liter per second and uh, this is in the liter okay but we have uh, q e we require the value of discharge in meter cube per second for this we simply uh, divide this value uh, to 1000 so after dividing 1000 we will get 0 0.093 meter cube per second so 90 is in liter per second and after dividing 1000 we will get uh, 0 0.09 meter cube in per second okay so this is the discharge now as i told uh, we have to use the discharge uh, through outlet that is q equal to cd a root under 2d uh, 2g h naught okay so as i told you uh, we have to take uh, the value of uh, diameter diameter of pipe is simply 25 to 30 cm generally so let's take diameter of pipe equal to 25 cm okay so 25 cm so you can see here uh, the value of cd becomes 0 0.62 a equal to pi d square by 4 simply area of a means area of pipe and uh, let's take pipe of diameter 25 cm uh, in meter it becomes 0 0.25 meter 
Okay. Mm, yeah, simply. Okay. Um, then the value of uh, H naught we can or uh, in this formula we have already known the, uh, all value, but only the value of H naught is unknown. So simply we can uh, solving this uh, equation we can get the value of H naught equal to 0 0.44 meter. Okay. So now we have to calculate the RL at the center of outlet pipe. So you can uh, calculate uh, this value with with the help of uh, subtracting this value value of uh, this H naught 0 0.44 uh, with the FSL in distribution channel okay so we have here uh, FSL in distribution channel full supply level of distribution channel is uh, 205 so uh, this value uh, we have to subtract the value of S naught that is 0 0.44 uh, with the, with, um, from the distribution channel so uh, 205 minus 0 0.44 equal to 0 0.4.56 meter meter so the areal of center of outlet becomes 204.56 meter now we have to calculate the areal of uh, invert of outlet pipe okay so we have to simply uh, divide um, this value areal of center of pipelet uh, minus 0 0.252 by 2 it means uh, 0 0.25 uh, is the our you can uh, write uh, like this uh, pipe diameter by 2 okay so we have to uh, subtract this value uh, from the center of area uh, of center of out outlet of pipe so 204.56 value is taken minus uh, we have to divide uh, diameter of pipe by 2 okay so simply 0 0.25 by 2 uh, so the value of areal of invert of outlet pipe becomes 204.43 meter which is uh, greater than the FSL of water course that is 204 meter so you can see here FSL in water course is 204 meter so whenever the uh, areal of invert of outlet pipe is greater than FSL of water course okay uh, then uh, a pipe of 25 mm diameter can be laid horizontally with its bottom or soil level at areal uh, 204.43 uh, as you calculated meter and it will be discharging freely as a semi module okay so uh, that's all for the designing of outlet thank you very much i hope you guys will understand uh, and in next in next video uh, we will solve the next numerical okay uh, this numerical so uh, get connected okay and uh, if you are new to the channel please do subscribe the channel and like the video okay and press the bell icon so you will get a regular update hope you guys are understand well if you have any queries please comment down below okay i will definitely reply so thank you very much see you in next video okay and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much and for different video uh, related to our irrigation engineering different uh, numerical for our final exam examination you can visit our channel too thank you very much see you in next video